Hi, today we're doing the Tracks and Signs Wild Challenge. To do this you just need to get out and about outside somewhere and have your eyes open for the small clues that you might see around you. Look, there. Oh, there's some more there. There's another one. There. We're going to go and have a look in our garden and on our daily walk to see what we find. You just need to get into an outside space somewhere and keep your eyes open for small clues that have been left behind by wildlife. That could be feathers, fur, tracks, it could be trails, slime trails from slugs, empty shells. These ones here look okay. <gasps> look! So there's really nice teeth marks around here where something has been having a good chew. Hmm. There's another. There's something that's been nibbling at these ones, nibbling little holes in them. There's all sorts of things, all sorts of clues that animals might leave behind. I'm going to show you how to set up a footprint trap. You're going to need some sand, some nice fine sand that's slightly damp to capture the footprints with. And you need something to put the sand in. It could be a tea tray, it could be a baking tray. I've got an old bucket lid that I'm going to put the sand into. So get the sand into your into your tray. There we go. Just spread it all out. There we go. And you need to make sure you make the surface flat so you can see any footprints. I'm using this piece of slate just to pull across the surface of the sand. There we go. And that's the footprint trap. Now you just need to decide where you're going to put it. We might try putting some bird food in the middle of our footprint trap to see what bird footprints we might find. Isn't that a good sign? And look! Oh, that's a really good footprint. Look, they've got three toes and claws. You see where the claws have been in? Or talons, I suppose. Talons! Mm -hmm. Well done! That was a good spot to put the footprint trap. <laughs> We've been really surprised by all the different wildlife signs that we've found. I hope you find lots of different wildlife signs too.